This is Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. The Ocean County Breakfast Show with Sean Michaels and Sue Ball. Ocean County's best variety. 92.7 WOBM. 92.7 WOBM with Nelly Furtado on this Thursday morning. It is 611, 64 degrees. All right, so Sue, so I'm going to put you to the test here. I'm going to ask you some questions. This is adult fun for Halloween here, okay? All right. Uh, do you eat some of your uh, child's Halloween candy? Yes. 72% of adults oh, say that yes. they uh, eat some of their... Uh... Even you do. Yeah. I remember I mean, being on the do. air with... Well, mean? I remember being on the air with you. Well, because you, you eat a lot more healthy than me, it seems like. You know what I mean? You have a little bit of a healthier diet mm. than I do. And I remember when your kids were of age, because we were together this long Mm. and they were trick-or-treating and i remember you saying that you you know you took the certain bars out of there oh yeah before they even knew we all admit to that so even yeah it's funny to hear that even you would sneak the candy one third of adults though say they eat their children's candy secretly now is that a problem you think no does that say there's because a problem? Because I, I have to steal it from Abby as well. Why do you have to steal it? Because she might not be happy that I'm going through her bag. Oh, she won't share. She's, I like the same candy bar as her. Now, she'd mm. give me any kind of sweet taffy I wanted, but it, certain bars. But do you think that the parents doing that secretly, though, part of that is that they, they, you know, they're, they're shamed by stealing candy? Um, no, <laughs> we enjoy it. Something they don't need to know. Okay, all right. <laughs> You um, know, it's okay, moms and dads. Don't feel guilty. Do you prefer full size or smaller? Small. Okay, the yeah. The fun size. 85% of adults said they'd rather have the smaller mm-hmm. Halloween candy size bars than go. And I'll agree with that. Because you can eat more different kinds. <laughs> well, you can have more different yeah. kinds. Yeah. Yeah, then you won't get a tummy ache. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's your favorite type of candy to steal? Mm, chocolate. Yes. Two thirds of adults mm-hmm. say that that's what their favorite is. Definitely. I don't agree with this one at all, but candy corn is second. Who is eating all this candy corn? Who's giving candy corn away? Yeah, who's I mean, even giving candy corn? Yeah, no. I mean, do they even come in? Do you have to, like, put it in baggies when no. you hand it? No. I don't know. Chewy candies and gummies Oof. came in third. Yeah. All no. right. Now, this is the last question I have for you. What okay. was your favorite candy when you were growing up as a kid, would you say? That you liked in there? Favorite I'm candy? I'm going to say probably mine was Reese's Cups when we were little. Mine was the Milky Way. All right. Has that changed? Yeah, I like the Three Musketeer a little bit better. One out of four say they've changed their favorites mm-hmm. since they were a kid. But Milky Way is still good. Still that same I still nugget. like the Reese's, too. But I, I think Snickers now is my favorite candy okay. bar. But those are some thoughts on parents when it comes hey, to candy. Hey, you're getting some protein in there with the peanuts. A, a little bit later. Right? <laughs> yeah, just got to be careful. Make sure nobody's got any allergies there. That's true. That's um, true. A little bit later on, just in a few minutes, I'm going to be talking about uh, something I'm going to do this year. That I learned well, it has last to do with night. Candy? With, yeah, with kids with trick or treating. I'll oh. tell you about it coming oh, up. Jeez. I thought they ninety-two point seven WOBM with Adam Lambert on this Tuesday morning, six thirty-seven right now, sixty-one degrees, and it's all about booing. Oh man, boo! <laughs> <laughs> so let's describe when we're saying booing. You're not talking about going out and booing and heckling people. Oh so. no, 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 not at all. It's all about how kids can. Show like uh, they're friends, but they don't know, and that's the point of it. it. It basically you print out these sheets that says you've been booed, and it's all about a phantom ghost dropping off goodies. Really, just in time for Halloween, could be a bucket of things, could just be a candy bar, and you put it on the doorknob and run. Oh, so my daughter man. and I and a girlfriend of hers, we always do it every year. And I let them choose between five different friends. We go to their door, we knock on the door, and then we run. But we give them some treats. It's called booing. It says, you've been booed. Yes. Wow. Yes. And it's real cool. And and they look forward to this. And it's all about, hey, if I've been booed, let's. it's sort of like a, you know, pass it on mm-hmm. so if i've been booed let's do it to five more friends what's the, that actually uh, get candy. the candy of choice this year with booing snickers still snickers. number one in really? reese's peanut butter cups tell abby she can boo me all she wants there you go <laughs> so much fun though boo <laughs>
92.7 WOBM with the Thompson Twins, 624, 66 degrees. So clowns who uh, in Mississippi... Oh, for goodness sake, for what reason, Well, Sean? we're talking about a ban that's been imposed. A Mississippi County, mm-hmm. Kemper County, mm-hmm. has now enacted a full clown ban uh, for this Halloween. Uh, do you think that's going a bit far? Where clown, you, nobody can be clown. Nobody can dress up as clowns, even if you do it for work. Well, what if you, just, you do it for work? Well, though, then you're out of work thinking. then. Then you're unemployed. Really? Yeah. Nobody could dress as a clown. Mm. Uh, there are no uh, exceptions, I guess. They say I, they're doing it for public safety. Hey, if you have to do it for public safety, but at the same time, there should be a list. There are some kids that still want, and and, and some organizations that Mm -hmm. want clowns there, and they're good at what they do, like with the balloons. Mm -hmm. So there has to be a way that they can still uh, make money if they are clowns So my question for you, here here at the shore, do do you support a full clown ban? Not for the people that work. Okay. Absolutely. If you're coming to my house in a yeah, clown I outfit, no. I, you know, actually, I think I'm less creeped out by clowns now that this whole thing has happened. Because really? I've seen so many and so many On pictures. On the TV and that stuff, I don't, yeah. think, I don't think it's a, that big of a deal now. Mm. I think people should stop <laughs> worrying about the clowns and it'll all just take care of itself. I think, you know what yeah. I mean? I think it's like the we're less drawing we more, talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we're drawing more. Well, I'm doing it right now mm-hmm. talking about this. But I just wanted to show you that some places now have a full bl- you know, clown ban. There so. has to be a list, though, of people mm. that actually make money doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, like, uh, unfortunately, there are people that live their life to be clowns and raise, and make money for their families. Yep. I have no idea, like, you know, how they can do that, but somehow you can't Probably take money from Probably need to have a certificate there. or something. Something. Here we go. Uh, this weekend, Tom Hanks hosting Saturday Night Live and Lady Gaga Sue. Oh, geez. His musical guest. You're excited. 92.7 WOBM with Matchbox 20 on a uh, Monday morning, 60 degrees right now. Uh, we're talking about the election, uh, yeah. according to a survey they did, 52% of people mm-hmm. say that they are somewhat or significantly stressed out <laughs> over the election. What do you think? Now, what do you mean by stressed out? When you, you know, when you just hear all these stories or watching, looking at the signs or just it's enough is enough just stressed yeah just just feeling emotional or whatever so i don't know if stress would be the right word i'm more angry i'm more uh i think fear <laughs> i'm a little scared to what the future mm-hmm. might hold than nerve you know than like being anxious over i'm it. just tired of hearing about it i'm ready to vote and just get it over with you know what well, i mean 22 and days on. yeah 22 today. days they can't November get here 8th. cannot get here quick enough mm-hmm. um but uh yeah so anyway 52 percent. they say social media if you follow i will agree uh, with that yeah if you watch twitter Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. you if you have a side, then you're going to get mad because the other side is going to throw things out there in mm-hmm. those different social media genres that are going to get you upset. I have no idea know. what to expect either for Wednesday night, the last and final debate. Yeah. Like, what are we expecting? Mm. What, what are we expecting? Like, Donald not even to come out or... Hillary to say nothing. I mean, I don't. I just don't know. What do you? That's why everyone will be watching. Like, yeah, what, who what, knows? What is who going knows? to be said at this I mean, debate? Hillary's sequestered now, so she's she's not, you know you can't. You, we don't know where she is. She's preparing. Okay, as she's they say. Preparing, preparing so she doesn't come out for three days. She's laying down, getting IVs, but. and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you still think she's a little unhealthy? Well, I'm just saying she just disappears. Anyway, and Donald doesn't do any preparation, oh. and then he goes out there and says whatever. Uh, but I'm tired of it, though. So that's my – I don't think that's stressed, but I am tired of it. So, mm-hmm. And I'm tired of people putting their, their opinions I up. think there could be another bombshell coming. You really do? I do. <laughs> And I don't know which side it's going to, you Are know. people even going to care at this point? I guess not. I, I You're right. Probably Because not. the people that choose one side don't care if there's a bombshell on their side because they dismiss it. Yeah. And the people on the other side make a big deal of it and vice versa. You know what I mean? So, so. don't get anxious over it. Nah. We'll all have to sit back and watch 22 days it'll be wreck. over. And then for the next four years, you can criticize whoever we all picked. Oh. <laughs> right? Jeez. That's the next phase. That's it. Criticize whoever wins for the next four years. <laughs> We're double This was all you. 
92.7 WOBM. Sean Sue with you on a Thursday morning with Sean Mendez. 617, 64 degrees. On this October 20th, mainly cloudy, breezy, mainly dry today, although spotty showers. Highs into the low 70s, maybe a sprinkle. Tonight, lots of clouds. Another stray shower overnight, low into the 60s. All right, right now we're at 64 in Tom's River. Real quick, Nancy. So I was watching the great pumpkin Charlie Brown last yes, night. Yes, the 50th. Yes, mm-hmm. 50th anniversary. Okay. It was great. So I thought to myself, you know what I'm going to do? Just as a goof, because I think some parents out there might laugh when they're going through their kids' candy later on. What you are know, you going to do? I'm going to give kids a rock. <laughs> I'm just going to slip a rock in there. Yeah. And they won't know because they're going to, you know, they're doing their thing and you put your hand, you put they it in the bag, whatever. They might bring that rock back it, and it, throw they it through your it. window. They won't know where it's coming from. <laughs> but isn't that funny, though? I think a pair, I would laugh if my kids came home. and Because you remember in Charlie Brown's mm-hmm. uh, The Great Pumpkin, everybody gave him a rock. Well, <laughs> until that child starts gnawing on the rock, and then you're in trouble. <laughs> right. Oh, you know, you got trouble. They if might try to rock. hunt you down, you know, to find out who gave Isn't this. Isn't that funny, know. though? I don't find Isn't it that funny? funny. No, I think it's kind of funny. I think a parent, I would laugh because I'd be like, "Oh, it's like Charlie Brown gave him a rock." <laughs> you know, because every <laughs> single parent gave him a rock. You're a little oh, twisted, but oh, okay. Oh, I think it's kind of you know. funny. You know, we got to think out of the okay, box a little all bit. All right, I hey, know. listen, Not they're going to get to Shawn Michaels. They're, they're going to get enough candy. They don't need any more. Look at, I'm helping them. You know, helping yeah. them oh, down yeah, the road until they until they crunch down on that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, don't let, you know the kids won't eat rocks, but uh, oh. you know, I think it's kind of cute. Okay, you know? what'd you get, Charlie Brown? I got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Every house he went to, he got a rock. Off to the highways we go. Nancy Reby. I love that movie. How are we doing out there this morning? Uh, we're doing fine. We have our early... Ad- I like it cold. I like it when it's autumn and it's cold. <laughs> That's what I like. Not 85 degree weather in October. <laughs> I want to wear a sweater and drink coffee. I don't want to be in a tank top you drink drinking coffee lemonade. in the summer. Well, that's true, too. Every m- <laughs> We'll be back. We'll check traffic next. In coming up heat. on WOBM. <laughs> WOBM, good morning. We were talking about things you used to do here at the Jersey Shore. How you doing, pal? Hey, friend. Hey, Fred. Whiting, what's going on? And listen, in my time, the women had hula hoops. The guys had... Um, Yo-yos, he'd be the champ if he can make the thing spin and at the same time walk toward him on the pavement. Oh, yeah. And as far as your baseball cards, we used to get them out of uh, Pacific Bubblegum wraps. Yes! And the guy who could blow the biggest bubble, <laughs> and we always egg him on to uh, get the bubble bigger until it would explode all over his face. That was fun. Yeah. Hey, you should have <laughs> saved those baseball cards. Joe, Joe DiMaggio, uh, Johnny Mize, Whitey Ford, Mickey Mantle. They're worth money today. <laughs> I do have um, a bunch of cards. Problem is, like, yeah, those older cards are worth money. But, you know, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, they put out so yeah. many of those cards that all those their cards are basically, well, I'm more you know. Into the late 40s and the yeah, 50s. Yeah, yeah, you got to go back is, ways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, memories. And then you'd flip the, the doubles you had. And, like, usually I lost them. I didn't flip them right. There you, know, you some go. Some other guy used to win them. Okay, pal. All right, there he is, Fred and Whitey. What he's talking about, Sue, is things we used to do at the Jersey Shore. He's talking about baseball cards and uh, yo-yos and hula hoops. Uh, Check out the story. It's at WOBM.com, Facebook, and Twitter. Add to the list. What's something you used to do here at the Shore that, well, we just don't do it anymore? Oh, my goodness. 732-237-WOBM. We are uh, pulling out those memories. Remember that? Oh, loved it. Wacky packages we used to collect. Along with the baseball oh, cards. never heard. You don't see those anymore. You used to go to 7-Eleven and get wacky packages. Huh? Let us know what you used to do at WOBM.com. WOBM, good morning. We're talking about things you used to do. What do you got for us? Good morning, Sean. How are you? Well, we used to play jacks. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Remember jacks. the jacks with the little ball? And I think there were 10 jacks or whatever. Now at Five Below, they have these huge jacks that are nerf style and oh. they're a lot of fun so maybe they're bringing them back a little that's bit. a frustrating oh, game a lot of high a lot of eye and hand coordination with jacks yes yes and well, then you'd scrape your knuckles on the on the cement <laughs> if you were playing on the sidewalk or a step or something what time do you go, what time do you call from i'm calling from long bridge it's yep. mary hey mary Hi, have mary. a great day today thanks for joining us in monmouth county but jack sue Never good at that. I, I think it was because I had big hands and I would always smack my hands on the ground trying to get the jacks. Yeah. That was, yeah. <laughs> it's actually a fun game. 
I liked it. Tell us what you miss, things that you used to do at the Jersey Shore. Check out the story at WOBM.com or give us a call, 237-9626. WOBM, good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Very good. So we're talking about things you used to do. Like I mentioned, you know, we used to have to find a pay phone to make a phone call. And we used to stand online at the bank. Uh, what are some things that you can remember that you used to do? I used to love uh, four squares and footsies. Footsies? Yeah. How do you play footsie? You mean just like under the table, your feet? Hoop. No, it's a little hoop around your foot with a ball on the end. And you swivel it around your leg and you jump. Oh, those things. I remember those things. Yes, I do. I, I just thought you meant like, you know, kicking the guy under your, the girl under the table with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember that thing. It was like a ball and chain you had around your leg and you had to jump. There you go. Yep. That, that was a lot yeah, of... Now that, I'm married, so it's the same thing. Yeah, ball. there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the footsies. Oh, you mean the ball and the chain. I got you. What time do you call it from? I'm Sherry from Lenoka Harbor. Have a great day today. Thanks for joining us. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Things you used to do. 732-237-WOBM. WOBM, good morning. We're talking about things you used to do. What did you used to do? Uh, click clack. What is a click clack? Click clacks were those uh, two crystal uh, metallic like uh, balls and with the string, and you had to clack them back and forth. Yes. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now nowadays you see some of those type of things for like offices. Like you could buy somebody a desktop one for their office or something, and they have a, a couple of them, and they kind of go back and forth, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. What town yep. are you from? Uh, Bayville. Have a good day today. Thanks for giving us a call. Things you used to do. We're uh, taking a look at that. Go to our website at WOBM.com. How about looking for a pay phone? How about going to Burger Chef? Check it out. It's at WOBM.com. <laughs> 92.7 WOBM with John Mayer on a Friday morning. So we're talking about M&M's candies, and uh, I don't know if I like this idea. All right. M&M's has announced they're going to roll out the caramel uh, M&M. Uh, so I'm not what do you really a fan yeah, of Yeah, I'm not so of, much of a fan um, of the caramel. caramel. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, it just seems like it would be a mess, kind of. like. What's nice about M&M's, they're not that messy. Remember? They're the, the thing that doesn't melt in your hand and all that stuff? Right. Now, but caramel, though, is going to be like... Mm. <laughs> all out you know and that kind of thing i will tell you this one of my girlfriends loves it and bought stock in the company just because of it. really absolutely loves it and thinks it's the greatest oh. invention ever caramel m&ms by the way will faves. be a permanent flavor okay, so it's not excellent. going to be one of them fly by night things mm -hmm. it'll be in stores come may next spring so if you're a caramel lover you're gonna love it there my favorite go. is the peanut m&m mm -hmm. i like the peanut i do ones, too i like the pretzel as well the pretzel ones aren't too bad but yeah. uh yeah so caramel comes out in may the ocean county breakfast show with sean michaels and sumo ocean county's best variety 92.7 wobm it's the Ninety two point seven WOBM Sean Sue with you. Tuesday morning it's eight oh nine, sixty one degrees. Men versus women, according mm -hmm. to a CBS poll. A fifth of women say it would be harder for them to give up their phone than their lover. <laughs> what do you think, Sue? <laughs> It would be very hard to give up my phone. <laughs> <laughs> they say Sorry, um, so women uh, spend about uh, women uh, spend twelve hours uh, oh. more every week interacting with their phones than actually with their families. So wow. more and more women are more interested in their That's phone sad. than they are with their family and their lovers. So what do you think about that? That's kind of crazy, <laughs> well, right? Not, I, I would certainly hope not. Like, I, well, that's I, what they're saying, when I'm yeah. at home, I yeah. love spending time with the family. Mm -hmm. But they're saying 12 hours or more a week. So women. you're saying pretty much women are more on their phones than men. Yes, yes. Mm. And they would have a harder time giving up the phone than men for their lover. Yes, so. <laughs> I agree. You could get everything you need from your phone. Oh, well, you keep this up. You may have to listen to Justin Bieber here. Keep you may have to love yourself. Yeah. With WOBM, good morning. For all the times that you rain on my parade. WOBM, good morning. Good morning. Hi. I wanted to talk about the debate last night. Oh, what'd you, oh great. What did you think? Well, they, Hillary keeps pointing out that Trump is in cahoots with Putin. But you know what? It doesn't matter. He is a businessman. He's not in charge of the country. Hillary has a paid job. We're paying her to be a senator. Mm -hmm. We're paying Obama to be the president. This happened on their watch. 
if we were hacked by another country, it's them that failed. If, if I failed at my job, I'd be fired. Right. But they're still there, and they're blaming Trump for it, who doesn't even have a position to protect us at this time. Thank you for your call. Thank you for your call today. Putin, Putin, he's not my friend. Give us a call, 237-WOBM. I don't know Putin. 92.7 WOBM with Madonna and Holiday on a Monday morning. It's the 17th of October, 626, 59 degrees. So over the weekend, I, I sort of noticed in the corner of the one part of our house, okay. something was on the roof, and I wasn't quite sure what it was. So I finally got a chance yesterday, after we got done with everything that we were doing, uh, to go up on the roof and check it out. And, you know, remember in the past I had those, you know, raccoons that were coming down through the Yeah, uh, the let's fan, go back. You gave birth, basically, yeah, to baby they, they, raccoons. Yeah, they had raccoons in the house. Oh, it was oh just, horrible. Well, <laughs> well, now they started eating my roof. <gasps> yes, I discovered yesterday they've actually eaten through a corner of my roof. I mean, when I say they ate through the roof, they ate through the shingle, and they ate through the wooden part what of the roof. What kind of they, raccoons do you I don't have? know what these things are. I'm going to have to get explosives, and I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to get a bear. Oh, jeez. I'm going to get a bear to eat the raccoons. Oh, Sean, this is horrible. So I have a small hole about the size of your oh, foot. Oh, no. That I got to patch up on my roof. Ooh, I hope they're not in your house. <laughs> oh. I can lift you up. I can show you what you want to see. So going out to uh, the highways, Nancy Remy's in with us. It's round two of Sean versus the raccoons. I don't think Nancy was with us. When I mentioned earlier in the week, uh, well, yesterday, mm. <laughs> that was earlier. That would be earlier. That mm-hmm. would be earlier, mm-hmm. uh, that the raccoons had had eaten through my roof uh, uh, at this point isn't now. is horrible? They, uh, they just won't stop. So I said yesterday that I was going to get a bear to <laughs> eat the raccoons. Because <laughs> I figure... You want to go the natural route. I figure if I go the natural route, <laughs> you really can't blame a bear, can you? I mean, you don't get mad at the bear, don't get mad at me. But no, so anyway, I mended the uh, the roof. I was up on the roof yesterday. Beautiful oh weather goodness. for it. Yeah. Uh, so I had to replace wood, and then we had to you know put some other things in. And uh, then I put you know new shingle and everything down. But another thing that we've decided is we're taking trees down around the house because it is evident that the raccoons were very very good climbers. Very good climbers are using some of the holly trees around the house as their ladders to get up onto my roof. (laughs) So those are going to go as well. I never knew that these raccoons had such strong teeth. And I Googled raccoons on the roof and so many pictures of holes in the roof. I mean, they they just they gnaw through the shingles and then through the plywood. But where are then, you when they're gnawing? Is this happening like, all it's night? It's happening at night. Yeah, it's happening at night. And That's they strange. they pick areas of the house furthest away from anywhere and uh, and they go to work. They so. come in and out. Why do some areas have more raccoons than others? Well, more wood, I guess. More wood. Okay. Or good garbage. <laughs> <laughs> These are the top foods that people around the country, as well as right here at the shore. Tweet about, okay? Oh, really? Okay. All right. And I'll tell it's you whether big, or not I, yeah, I've done these as tweet, well. F- I don't think I've ever tweeted food. All right. So mm-hmm. a tweet that involves any of these things. Okay. Coffee, no. I have. No. no. Not for you. Beer, I have tweeted about no. beer. No. Okay. Pizza. Yes. All right. I have too. Wine. No. Yes, I've tweeted about wine. Chicken. I've never Does tweeted. Does chicken nuggets fall into yes. that category? Yes. Then yes, of. I have tweeted <laughs> <laughs> tweeted about I the nuggets. I have not tweeted about chicken. Okay. Barbecue. No. I tweeted last night about barbecue. Nice. Uh, we were out doing that. We'll talk about that later. Ice cream. No. Yes. Finally, <laughs> tacos. Have you ever tweeted about yes. tacos? Yes, yes, I have. I, that I have not done. Okay. But those are your most popular foods. Coffee, huh. beer, wine, <laughs> uh, pizza, Chicken, tacos. barbecue, ice cream, and tacos. <laughs> no. Top food tweets. People love to tweet, sort of Twitter and eating at the same time. You're <laughs> tweeting with WOBM. <laughs> All the times that you rain on my parade. WOBM with Train on a Friday morning, October 21st, waking up 639, right now 66 degrees. Well, uh, new research is out, Sue, that says that women are angry. Women are angrier than men when it comes to driving. (laughs) Oh, really? Yes. 14% (laughs) angrier by backseat drivers. It it really makes women nuts when there's backseat drivers. Also, they get more angry than men uh, when people don't use their turn signals. 
And when people pass them, women will be more likely to shout wow. and honk at them. So my question for you is, Sue Mall, are you an angry driver? Not at all. You don't get angry at all? Not at all. No? Okay. I have never flipped the bird. All right. How about any of your girlfriends? Is there one that pops into your head <laughs> yes! that's a real angry driver? Yes. And she's she is the woman they're talking about, right? Oh, my word. It's so much fun to drive with her, though. Really? <laughs> Is it like yes. poking the bear? You can get her going. Like, you know, all you got to do is be like, hey, that person behind you is, you know, flashing them. You're going yeah. too slow. They're really or riding close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. But yeah. I wouldn't, you know, I guess, you know, when you think about it, backseat drivers, that does bother me because, you know, my wife will be like hitting the bra- the fake brake, you sure. know. Mm-hmm. And, and We've I'll all be, done I'll, that. And mm-hmm. she'll be like, shot, you know, and it's just like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, I, you know. yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, then, of course, I do get upset, though, with the people that don't use their blinkers, though, because that's very annoying. So these are right. things that mm-hmm. I think everybody gets a little bit annoyed at. But women supposedly have more hate in their heart than men when it comes to driving. So You just love saying that. Well, I'm just Women say- have hate in their hearts. It's not my research. <sighs> Scientists. I got this my bones. Ninety-two point seven WOBF with John Mayer. Monday morning, if you're waking up eight ten, maybe you're going for that coffee, Sue. But there's a new coffee out that Starbucks has, which finds uh, you know a lot of people saying, "Hmm." Yeah, Starbucks. What, what is it? Has announced that you know they have this new thing. Have you heard about evenings at Starbucks? No, <laughs> I like it. It's when the uh, adults come out to play. Okay. And uh, what they do is the uh, they bring out all the alcohol, and now. Before you get excited. Along with the coffees? Yes. Well, oh. Yeah, it becomes a bar. Uh, before you, you get excited, though, we don't have any here in Jersey, though. You've got you got to go to New York City in order to experience Starbucks Now, evenings. I wonder, is this something that they will take all around the country? I don't know, because I doubt they can get liquor licenses at so many different at all places. These, okay. There's a lot of, you know. Mm-hmm. But anyway, they have a new beer that's out. It's called Espresso Cloud IPA, and it's coffee mixed with espresso uh, with, uh, with beer the espresso mm. mixed with beer so it's not interesting i don't know i don't know how that would taste i i am very interested to taste that i think that would be you a think good that combination. would be good i think that would be a really good combination of uh, putting together a beer with a coffee okay well when so. you head to new york city you go see shows sometimes why don't yeah. you check it out so i'll have to check it out they're not everywhere but a lot of places in new york city do have the uh, evenings with starbucks now are they uh, open to a certain time They're like is there an age group that can come in well or? i'm sure you have to be of drinking age and i guess it's if you, know, you order that but i bet you like you know maybe some high school kids or college students can come in maybe and just not for the alcohol at night mm-hmm. yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's an added bonus to their menu. Wow, so you're do. excited so, for this. I But don't I would know. like to try and check it out, though. But I've never been, you know, if anybody's ever been to an evening Starbucks. Love to hear from yeah, you. Yeah, give us a buzz, 237-WOBM. Hmm. If you've ever gone to Starbucks out of the uh, state where they had the, uh, you know, the open bar, I guess, yeah, basically. They have Starbucks sure. wines and, and beers and so things. So interesting. But now they're mixing the coffees together with that. So anyway, if you've done it, give us a buzz, 237-WOBM. What's your name? Janice. From what town? Lanelka Harbor. Suck it up, cupcake! 92.7 WOBM with tears for fears. 727 on your Friday morning, waking up 66 degrees. A little light drizzle out there as well, so kind of a soggy Friday for the kids head off to the bus stop. So it's a big protest weekend, Sue, Mm -hmm. in Rhode Island for women this weekend. It's happening in Barrington, Rhode Island. It seems like there's a big controversy, and I want to get your two cents on this. Okay, in Rhode Island. Yeah. Okay. A man has said that yoga pants... (laughs) Look tacky and ridiculous on women. What? This guy has uh, put out this statement that he wants them banned, and uh, now women are going to actually have a parade and wear their yoga pants <laughs> in this town <laughs> coming up on Sunday. Wear them proud, ladies. So That's what I say. This guy, Alan Sorrentino, mm-hmm. says that here's what he says that yoga pants belong in the yoga studio, and that it's bizarre <laughs> and disturbing to see women <laughs> wear them in public. He says they should wear a nice pair of tailored slacks or jeans instead. The women are calling his comments sexist oh. and are planning to parade Who down is the this street. Alan? It is yoga pants. Who is it? They're yoga pants. Is there? Is this phone number on there? Can no, we call it's him? not. But, Who uh, is Alan? 
He would like you to wear, Sue, a nice pair of tailored slacks or um, jeans. As tailored to... <laughs> slacks. Alan, what as about my pajamas? To... Well, I was going to say, you like you to wear the... You have a problem with you, that? You don't wear the yoga pants so much, but you wear the, um, However, you know, the pajamas, though, right? I love leggings, and yeah. they're sort of like... Sort of like that. So Absolutely. I'm I sure wear he's leggings a, fa- a lot. I'm sure he's, he, f- he finds those tacky as well. <sighs> Which are back in style now. A lot of folks, you hey, know, a lot Alan, of ladies with this. Check you know. it. Who cares what you think? <laughs> what is up with that? But I love his uh, his idea for you, Sue. A nice pair of tailored slacks. <laughs> there you go, ladies. Alan, that's ridiculous. Tacky and ridiculous. I joined the parade. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. For more details, go to WOBM.com.